Okay, thank you very much. We're gearing up for Valentine's Day there, Taylor. So hopefully you're going out and getting your roses and your candies, your chocolates today because it's the best day of the week. Um, so, you know, those are the things that we think of. Maybe a romantic dinner with a loved one. Uh, but it can also be a very difficult time for someone who has lost someone they love. So Suzanne Gable, who is the executive director of the Iowa Funeral Directors Association, is here with some good advice to keep in mind on Valentine's Day for those of you who are mourning the loss of a loved one. Because we want to think of sunshine and roses, but that's not the way it always is. No, it's not. The most important thing to remember is that grief is natural mm -hmm. and that you have to experience all the, all the feels and that it's important to take care of you as you're grieving someone, especially during a holiday like this that's kind of culturally imposed. Right. Yes. If you're someone who knows someone who has lost someone recently, what are you supposed to do for them or to them? How do you act toward them in a time when so much is centered on love and being with someone who you love? Just be there for them. Listen to them. Let them know that they're not going to bring you down because they're grieving. Uh, treat them for Valentine's Day. Give them uh, all the love that you have for mm -hmm. them in, in this time of need. There are a lot of resources available to people who are going through grief to any degree. I mean, it doesn't have to be a husband or a wife no. who they've lost. It could be a mother or a father or an aunt or an uncle. So how do people find some resources? Funeral homes are, uh, are great resources for information on grief. Funeral directors are professionally trained to be that resource in every community. If you think about it, every community has a tie to a funeral home, right. whether it be in their community or in a neighboring community. So um, the funeral directors are specifically trained to assist in helping find resources. And that this is gonna be kind of a tall task, but do you have some quick tips for grief for someone if they're sitting at home thinking, gosh, what can I do if I'm really feeling sad, really down in the dumps right now, what can they do? Well, there are several things. First, um, take time to honor their loved one. They need to um, find a special way to remember them on this day. They need to take time for themselves um, to, uh, if somebody else isn't going to give them candy or roses, do something special for themselves. Um, they need to talk about their feelings, again, like with their friends. Uh, they need to, if, if, they're, if they're experiencing new grief or prolonged uh, scary grief, they need to speak to a counselor or um, even just spending time with those they love. Wonderful. Suzanne, thank you very much. Thank it's you. It's a tough thing to talk about, it, but it's yes. very, very important. Yes. We appreciate you. Thank you here. very much. Happy Valentine's Happy Day. Happy Valentine's Day to you. <laughs>